Hello, Sam Arrier here, Senior Energy Consultant at Team Energy. I uh, just wanted to discuss a little bit about the latest news coming out of COP26 um, regarding deforestation. It was, uh, it was announced earlier today that over 100 countries have committed to ending deforestation by 2030, uh, which really is wonderful. Um, the countries involved make up about 85% of the world's forests. Uh, so it's a huge um, amount of the, the, the forestry area is in scope of these, uh, these agreements. Um, on top of that, a number of the world's largest financial organisations have committed to uh, stopping investment into anything involving deforestation. Uh, and 28 or so countries have agreed to um, ending trade in food or anything else that, that comes from deforestation itself. So some, some really good commitments there. Uh, just a couple of things to, to bear in mind, uh, similar announcements away, were, were made back in 2014 in New York um, and unfortunately there's been no uh, fall in the deforestation figures since then. Uh, in fact there's been a slight increase so hopefully that will not repeat itself. Uh, secondly, uh, 2030 is the, the date that uh, the agreement has been made to stop deforestation which is still nine years off and a lot can be done in nine years. Currently about 27, 28 football pitches are being uh, felled every minute. So, you know, you can imagine just what nine years uh, difference can make in terms of uh, the question as to why, why we can't do it sooner. Um, finally as well, uh, the money being committed by countries, about $19 billion, a huge amount of money, but you know, let's also compare that to something close to home, the 37 billion pounds spent on track and trace. So it's only about a third of that amount by all countries covering 85% of the forests as opposed to one country being able to spend 37 billion pounds on, on track and trace. So that's both sides of the story. It is great news that it's happening. Let's hope at least some great results.